Is that everything? Yeah, I think so. Shoot, I forgot to grab our rose. We've already got everything right. I'm being silly. <laughs> it's okay. You ready? Yes, I am. <laughs> My stomach is killing me. Are you hungry, honey? No, we just ate. Okay, what's going on? What? I'm fine. I promise. Please tell me that they know that your guy isn't Jewish. Rich? Oh my god, your father's gonna kill me. <laughs> He's gonna like you, babe. It's my mom I'm worried about. I'm kidding. I'm sure they'll both love you as much as I do. Watch out! What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you mean? We can call the cops. Are you crazy? We have to get him in the car right now before someone sees us. Come on, help me. Quick, get in the car. I'm driving. Well, it looks like it didn't go right at all. And that was a total disaster. So, I need to stop here for a second. It seems like I'm gonna do this all over again. Oh my god. What are you doing? What do you mean? We can call the cops. Are you crazy? We have to get him in the car right now before someone sees us. Pull your hair up. Put this around your hand. Quick, get in the car. I'm driving. We just did a hit and run. Yep. Yup? That man died because of me. There's a dead man in our trunk, and you're acting like nothing happened. Do you want to explain a dead body to a judge? That was an accident. There was no fucking witnesses. They have CSI tech stuff. They don't need to have witnesses. Don't yell at me. Listen, going to jail won't bring him back. Plus, you will not last a day in prison. Trust me. Could you stop doing that? Really? Wait, listen, I can't lose you, and I can't do without you. You have to dump the body. It's okay, I understand. Bury it deep. Vacuum out the chunk and vacuum the body in case we left any particles on him. And when you're done, give me all the plastic bags and everything he was laying on. Okay.
just burn this. Burn it all. You know what? Hmm. I'm kind of hungry. I want to go to the kitchen see if I can get something to eat. You can grab me something? Of course. <laughs> Man now identified as Norman Hax was discovered in the north section of the forest. A hiker's dog started digging until the victim was visible. We have FBI Special Agent Thomas Sherman here to give us more information on the case. When the police went to notify his family, the story took a different turn of events. We arrived at his home. Officers discovered several human body parts in his basement. The DA is working tirelessly to retrieve the names of each of the victims. And as we speak, we're trying to recover some human remains in his backyard. That's all we've got for now. Thank you, Agent Sherman. We will bring you more information on this case as soon as new information becomes available. Back to you, Stacy, in the studio. You said you took care of it. I knew they would find him. They always do. You knew? I did it on purpose. What do you mean you did it on purpose? I thought you said you didn't want me to go to jail. You don't understand. I didn't want us to live in fear every single time the door knocks. Think about it. He was a serial killer. He did humanity a favor and they didn't even know it. They found the body. It's over. It can't lead to us. Did you see? It's perfect. I know. Sir, it was so important that I had to leave my family on a Sunday afternoon to meet with Brad. I believe I found who you've been looking for. Good. Ex-military, Navy SEAL, law enforcement. Civilian couple. Are you out of your mind? I've been tracking for a while. Pulled off a seamless crime. I left zero trace behind. Look at this. Now imagine what they could do with the proper training. How long before we could use them? Extensive training? A year? We've got six months. Six months? Make it happen. You said they were good. You'll be hearing from me. Sir.